she's alive. Hey, hey, spooky pretties, and welcome back to Monster Monday with me, your host, Maggie. Thank you guys for tuning in today. And if you are new to my channel, if you like what you see, consider subscribing, ding that notification bell so you never miss my weekly Monday and Wednesday drops. No fancy fun Universal Monster theme shirt today. I got a lot of compliments on this shirt on my Instagram. So I was like, why not? I'll stick to the outfit. Y'all seem to like it. So thanks for all the positive feedback. I thought I looked like a librarian earlier. Granted, I had some big old glasses on. <laughs> well, today we're gonna hop right into some killer monster items. I've got something really special to show you guys today. I personally love this item and was so excited to add it to my collection when I found it a few years ago at a convention called Days of the Dead. Let's put this little item together. So, this is the main part. We've got this little stand plastic holder here, plastic holder here. Sorry if you can't see me. And then we put this little sucker here and here. Whoa, look at what we have. A little 3D action going on. Just like the promo sign says, yes. This is a Creature from the Black Lagoon promo sign for their pinball machine. There was a special pinball machine made by Bally you guys know Bally's Casino? They made a like 3D pinball machine for Creature from the Black Lagoon and they had this little promo stand as advertisement. So it's nine by eight and it's got a little pop-up feature that kind of makes it 3D. I absolutely love the colors on this. I think the machine came out in 1982, I believe. So it gives me that 80s vibe. The 3D symbol really gives me like Jaws 3D vibes as well. But that could just be the 80s vibe, y'all. And we've got the damsel up the top. We've got Creature Gravener. We've got like a sunset swamp view with some palm trees. And then the Universal Monsters logo at the bottom. And right in the middle, I'll pick that up in a second. It just says the creature from the Black Lagoon made in 1954 by Universal Pictures Company and then renewed licensing in 1982. So yeah, very easy to put together, very easy to take apart. So I will show maybe a better individual picture later in the video. So I love it. There are some of these on eBay currently. As I mentioned, I found it at a convention, but on eBay, there are a couple. There's actually one that's a different blue than this. It's actually like a more almost navy blue. I don't like it as much. That one goes for around 35 to $40, where this one goes for around 50 to 55. That's usually the normal asking price for these, but maybe you can find it elsewhere for a little cheaper. Keep an eye out, let me know. Let me know if you've ever played the Creature from the Black Lagoon pinball game. I have, and it's fantastic, and I want one bad, but they usually go for around $3,000. So not sure if the, one of those will ever be in my future. So I'm gonna grab the next couple items while I pick up this mess on the floor. All right, next we have some more signage. This one is a little bit different. This comes from the year 1992. Look at these. These are yard decorations for Halloween. Or if you just wanna show your love of monsters year round, that's fair too. But these were definitely made for the Halloween season. Again, 1992. Look at this, look at this, look at this. This is the bride. They had sets of these. These what they call walkway decorations. They are supposedly water resistant and the image is printed on both sides. They come in a pack of two 
It also includes two yard stakes for you to display them in your yard. Designed in USA, but crafted in China. This was made by Rubies, right there. We've got Universal Monsters logo here at the bottom. I'm really interested to know if these were water resistant, if they could last for multiple Halloween seasons. And then we've got a very easy assembly instructions here at the top. It says, place the pointed end of the stick into the ground about six inches deep. Insert through opening at bottom center of Universal Monster sign. So right here, there's an opening for the wooden stake to go through. So it sets it up like that. Next we have Frankenstein. I think he might be my favorite from the set. I really love the artwork on him. I think it's really nice, came out nice, love the colors. The reverse side is the same. Again, same signage up here at the top. Look how fun that is. It looks like a little party store, early 90s party themed. I remember confetti being really popular back then. I don't know. I remember wrapping paper had a bunch of confetti on it. Confetti itself was just a thing. The 90s just liked the glitter man, let me tell you. Just really love that logo. I know I show it to you guys pretty often with the merch that I have. Then we have Dracula. His face kind of gives me the creeps. Not quite what we see Dracula as. Granted, neither bride wasn't quite either, but a nice representation of Drac like the red. Again, the back side, as you've seen, and the stakes are up here, come out up here through the top. Ruby's Costume Company Incorporated is the official name right there. Again, truly curious. How water resistant are you? Never gonna find out, because I'm never gonna take them out. And last in my set, We've got Mummy. <laughs> he doesn't look too happy to be here, guys. He's giving me the side eye. Sorry, dude. You can see a better portion of the steak here. Again, fun colors. And right here on the back, it says Official Universal Monsters, The Mummy, Frankenstein. This actually says Frankenstein. Frankenstein, that's literally how it's spelled. I don't know, can you see that? Fun times. And then it says the Bride of Frankenstein spelled correctly. Then it says the Wolfman and Dracula. I don't know if it's implying the monsters that are in this specific walkway set are the Mummy, Frankenstein, Bride, Wolfman, and Dracula. If that's the case, I'm missing Wolfman. However, I was pretty sure there was a creature from the Black Lagoon, one of these, because I remember being sad because when I bought these also at a Days of the Dead convention, the seller told me he had just sold the creature from the Black Lagoon ones. And I was like, who would do that? Who would buy one out of the set? <sighs> Apparently that person. <laughs> But I'll leave some information in the description box of what is actually supposed to 100% be in this complete set, whether it's Wolfman, whether it's Creature, or whether it's both of them. I will let you guys know. But these are the ones I have in my collection and I'm very grateful to have all of them. I don't see these very often. I've only seen them once in person and I bought them. And also the fact that they are still in their original packaging and in this good of condition, I feel very fortunate. So one last look at these bad boys and girls, boils and girls. And I will post some more information in the description box. Check it out. So as always, thank you guys for showing up, starting your week off with me and for always sending me love and support Y'all have my back, I've got yours. If you have any questions, check the description box or shoot me a comment if I don't answer your question there and I will be happy to get back to you. And keep it weird, make it Maggie. Bye for now.